My dear brothers and sisters um, and our uh, viewers of our lives uh, streaming, we have heard uh, the gospel of today and um, it is about uh, King Herod, uh, the Tetrarch, and um, <clears throat> you know Herod was uh, a cruel king during the time of our Lord and um, he was the one who uh, uh, ordered the execution of John the Baptist because John the Baptist criticized uh, Herod because he said it is unlawful for you to take the uh, wife of your brother Philip and because of that he was imprisoned and eventually was uh, beheaded. Now, today in the Gospel, we read about um, Herod again um, hearing about Jesus Christ. As you know, um, <clears throat> Herod about uh, our Lord is the newborn king when he was still uh, a child. And um, again, Herod wanted to, uh, to kill that newborn child because he didn't want any competition. He didn't want that there was another king. So um, uh, what he did was to, um, to kill the uh, uh, babies or ch uh, uh, children at the age starting at the age of uh, two years kasi para uh, hindi niya makilala pero gusto niyang patayin ang ating Panginoong Yesu Cristo nung siya ay sanggol pa lamang and that is why the uh, uh, couple Mother Mary and Saint Joseph brought out uh, our Lord and uh, went to Egypt in order to uh, uh, run away from uh, the uh, uh, killer um, Herod. Now, um, my dear brothers and sisters, ano ba ang ibig sabihin nito sa atin? Ano ang leksyon? Ano ang mensahe? Well, in a way, we can say that we are also like King Herod in the sense that um, we uh, do not accept our Lord, that uh, we also go against uh, our Lord just like uh, uh, Herod, King Herod did, but maybe not in a very... Uh, uh, bloody way of uh, going against uh, the Christ but it is when we go against the commandments and the will of God the commandments uh, laid down by God and our Lord Jesus Christ also confirm these commandments then that is when we go against uh, against uh, our Lord and against God and that is when we violate the commandments of God so we can also uh, see this in in our world in our life for example there are those who violate the Ten Commandments for example honor your father and your mother Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. These are all the commands of God and uh, we do not accept God if we do not do His will, for example, in the Ten Commandments. Well, of course, uh, we are only human. We are not perfect and therefore we fall into sin and break his commands and His will. Alam nyo, mayroong isang 
charismatic na member ng isang community. At siya po ay mabait. And one time, uh, in the charismatic uh, in the charismatic uh, uh, the chapel for community, ay um, uh, yung pare ay ang kanyang uh, ang kanyang topic ay tungkol sa Ten Commandments. At um, <coughs> sabi nung pare, uh, honor your father and your mother. Then sabi uh, nung charismatic, sabi niya, Amen! Amen, Father! Kasi ngayon, hindi na ginagalang um, uh, anak ng mga, sa mga magulang. And then sabi niya, uh, uh, do not, Thou shalt not kill. Amen, Father, Amen. Sabi niya. Uh, kasi ngayon, ang dami ng patayan, so much violence. And uh, even uh, <coughs> even the police and uh, kill each other. Then sabi naman niya, um, "Thou shalt not steal. Wag magnakaw. Amen, Father. Amen. Ayon, marami na rin nagnakaw sa gobyerno and uh, this uh, 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 corrupt uh, practices that are happening." Then sabi niya. Thou shalt not commit adultery, sabi nung pare. Then sabi po nung charismatic, sabi niya, Ops, 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 Father, hindi ka na nangangaral. Nakikialam ka na sa buhay ko. No? So, yun pala, ay uh, nakikiapid pala. Um, well, it shows that uh, even you know, member of a charismatic community, uh, can be also vulnerable, which means that nobody is perfect among all of us. That uh, we are, uh, we are, we have our weaknesses. But what is important is that we should ask forgiveness uh, from God, and that we should try to uh, should try to change ourselves. For the better. So, dear brothers and sisters, the gospel therefore tells us to follow the will of God and at the same time that we should strengthen our faith, our love for God by accepting Him and not only Him but to do His will and His commandments. Amen.